thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Kathleen Carpenter and I'm an occupational therapy student at Spalding University. And have you heard of occupational therapy before? No. Okay. Well, the goal of occupational therapy is to increase an individual's independence with daily roles and meaningful occupations so they can better participate and have a, a better quality of life. Today we are here um, here to get to know you by doing the COPM. It's the Canadian Occupational Performance Measure. And I just want to learn a little bit about yourself so we can develop some goals together okay. for future sessions. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so there's three sections of the COPM. Self-care, which is activities of daily living, productivity, and leisure. So, first we'll start with the self-care section, and if you can just give me a little glimpse of um, what your day looks like, your daily routine. Okay. Well, um, morning I wake up, brush my teeth, I comb my hair and stuff, wash my face, um, and then I have to take my morning meds, um, but I don't really like taking them. Okay. The side effects make me tired. Okay, so you feel tired during class? Yeah. Okay. It makes it hard to stay awake. Okay. Um, are you required to take them by your youth counselor? Does she require that you take them and you refuse them? Or, I mean, I just don't take them, but then someone says something to me. Okay. Okay, well, that's um, something we can definitely work on together. Um... What about productivity, which would include um, work? I was informed that you just got a job at White Castle. Congratulations. Thanks. I know you've been working really hard on reaching that goal, so that's awesome. That would be nice. Yeah, that's great. That you can get away from Maryhurst for a little while and make some money and be in the community a little bit. Yeah. That's awesome. So as far, tell me a little bit about your dorm room. I know Mary Hurst is pretty strict about um, a cleaning schedule. What does that look like for you? Are you able to keep your room pretty clean? I mean, they have a lot of rules here. Mm -hmm. There's so many rules and it's not really, it's not even fair to like act like everyone can keep their room clean because, mm -hmm. you know, it's hard. Okay. So you don't really enjoy cleaning? That's not a preferred activity? No, I mean, I don't like it messy, but it's too much work to clean it up. Like, I okay. rather just sleep. Okay. I don't have the energy to clean. Okay. Do you have homework when you get home from school? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you interested in the homework that you have? It's it's just like the cleaning like there's too much it's it's like overwhelming and I sometimes I just want to curl up in bed and not get out. Okay. Okay. Well, hopefully we can find some leisure activities that interest you and maybe that will be motivating for you. The last portion of the COPM is the leisure portion. I just wanted to see what your hobbies are. I know Mary Hurst is on a pretty structured schedule, but are there any recreational activities that you get to engage in while you're here? Recre rec rec recreational? Recreational. What's that? Uh, that's like leisure activities that you enjoy doing in your free time. So maybe uh, after the school day gets out. Um, I, I mean, I used to like comic books. Um, but sometimes the girls steal them. Okay. It's, it's hard to enjoy anything that I used to enjoy because the girls here, um, it's really tough to get along with them. Okay. They can be really mean. Okay. And they, they bullied me. They can okay. bully anyone. Okay, so maybe, um, you're, so you're having a hard time connecting with your peers. Just to finish up, um, I would like to see how important it is for you, um, what you're most in, what you're most interested in working on, on an important scale of one to ten. Are you important on medication? Working on your medication? Yeah, I'm trying to work on it. 